itchy. All right. What's up guys, my name is Revenged One, and I'm back playing Game of Thrones. It's been a while since I've played it, and I actually want to progress the story, so let's get into it. Ah, exactly where we left off. Awesome. Alright, so let's try to see this guy getting stabbed. Not my best work on Fuck you, Ramsey. I suppose I have full enough. I think that's Ramsey. Easy. Okay. With all that bloody noise. <laughs> Like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man Pickles holds man. none. Pity he didn't know your father was the warden of the north. He does now. Father. How much father oh wait, no, he is his father. I mean it is. Forrester. Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? My lord? Shh! Listen! <gasps> there! Oh shit. Hear that? I know Stay I still! <laughs> Why would I run? Then they'd really know. And I could stab this bastard if I need to. Never mind. See? We've wasted enough time already. All right, so Ramsey's a bastard. Literally. Oh man, that was great. Okay. <laughs> I'm so glad that turned out like that. All right. Who is this fucker? It's got to be the dude, um, what's his name? Theon. If it's not Greyjoy, I'm going to be pissed the fudge off. For those of you who don't know who Greyjoy is, stop watching this video and go watch the show or read the book. What are you doing? No, it's not. Bloody hell. It's just someone else. At least that guy still has his penis. Am I right? I'm right. I know I'm right. Lord Ethan, as I was saying, you are young. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. Goddamn blurriness. What? 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Thorin. Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. I don't like the name Gregor. Some people know why. He was fair and wise. What will they call me, battle. little bitch? And what will they call me? That is for you to define as the new lord. Little These were your father's bitch. people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Uh oh. I've done so I get to kill wrong. this guy or not? He's only trying to survive. <laughs> Lord Ethan, Miss. Who is this man? Mm -hmm. This Craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed. We all fucking uh -oh. know it. Hey. Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. Why did you do it? Because I've no wish to die. Yes, my lord. I fled. 
We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. It's true. true. I've a family to feed. They're not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to yeah. rot here. Where's our pay? A share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> no, he's right. Leave the poor man alone. Go. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but yep. they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Most of us won't even live to see it. We are in this together. I guess. You say that, but it won't be you who starve in come true. winter. Ethan's a bitch. <laughs> You'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan, you must I'm not decide gonna kill him. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. No. Now may not be the time. I'll probably die. Visit. The men are on edge as it's need to know. They cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their Lord will not permit it. We can send him to the wall. Maybe I'll send him to the wall. I will decide. Send him to the wall. Take his fingers. He's a thief. He's a bit. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my It's Lord. true. Please. My send Lord. him to the wall. My family. Just send him to the. Me. Well, wait. I can show him mercy. Huh. Hmm. But send him to the wall. He gets to be with Jon Snow, which is like awesome. That's. But if I don't, he might save me. It, okay, if it was the real me, I'd show him mercy. Our house tends to its people. See, this man is paid and his family is fed. Lord Ethan, you are truly a merciful and noble lord. My lord, this man is a criminal, a brazen thief. He's also a father trying to help his exactly. children after we failed him. I cannot punish a man for our negligence. You're rewarding a man who has no, no you're loyalty Ooh. or honor. My lord, we must speak about our gold reserves soon. My lord, I thank you for the mercy you've shown me. I will never forget my debt to you and to this house. Yeah. This game is easy. <laughs> that was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet out punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. Oh shit. You can weigh on any lord. It was my duty. It's a lord's duty, so I did it. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone <clears throat> You can trust by your side. I can trust that guy. I gave him mercy. He'll probably trust me. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom and experience. Who, would you choose? Who do you think I should choose? There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Wait, I should have chose him. Yeah. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. I guess he's not a warrior, kind of. Your Sentinel will wear this for all to see. Take it. Thank you for your counsel. He's a maester, so... It is my duty. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. Damn it, I should have chose him. He's cool. He's actually nice. So was that other guy. But I feel like I chose him, that dude, the dick. He might save me. But he's nice. But he also might save me. And I can be a dick, so I understand that. Hmm... Let me just... Alright, let me go look at this. No, let me talk to Duncan. His name is Duncan. That's an advantage. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Oh. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. As lord, I must name a sentinel. 
Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for I the role? Know. Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. I haven't decided yet. Well, you must soon, my mm -hmm. lord. This is not a matter to be taken lightly. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. That was it? He didn't give me any ideas, any... Fuck you, Duncan. Oh, okay. Thought I could walk in there. <gasps> Our oh. provisions are rather low, my lord. I made the count again. How, How long can we last? How long could we hold the house? We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a, a fortnight. fortnight? But there are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. We've done it before in desperate times. The last long winter, my family Here we go. brought all our pigs to the house. I trust you to make the right decision. We'll have to take food from the small folk and hope oh, that's terrible. For themselves. If the house falls, they'd all be worse for it. I'll see to the arrangements, my lord. That's terrible. <sighs> all right, I don't want to talk to my sister. Malcolm. Malcolm X? Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? <laughs> Hello, Uncle. Ah, it's my uncle. My I funkle. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do, showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. At first light. What? But where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him, to help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. He's lying. I told her my place is here, that I'll be of no help to you in Essos. But she insisted. What? I will hold, of course. Until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. Not maybe the guy like that made real. But you know that just as well. Of course. I will be gentle. It's my mother. Of course I'll of be course. gentle. I know you will. You're good hearted, my lord. That is your true strength. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared my as people well. Are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. What? He'd be a fine choice. Why are you so sure? And I trust him. Why Sir Royland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Uh, okay. Ethan, I need to. Not now, sister! I'm busy. God. Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Yeah, Martin's okay, help. I remember that. Did she? I knew we could rely on mm -hmm. Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Because she's a better sister Hopefully than you. Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrett being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wait, 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 the people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Wait, 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 wait. Ethan, please. Who should be Sentinel? Who should I name I as need my help. Sentinel? It should definitely be Duncan. God damn it! He's dependable and smart and everyone trusts It's gonna be Duncan. Duncan. So Royland is unpredictable and likely to make matters I agree. worse. You've always given me good advice. No, Thank no. You. No, she interrupted me during an important meeting, and then I was saying, whoa, 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 what? And now I forgot what I was going to say, whoa, 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 what, too. So now I'm just sitting here looking like a foolio. A coolio foolio, at least. All right. Give Bracer to Duncan. Duncan, I've decided to name you as my sentinel. Congratulations. Why, thank you, my lord. I'm honored. But are you sure? Yes, I am. Yes, of course. 
I'm convinced you're the man for the job. Then I accept. But first, you must summon the small council, my lord, to make it official. Right. I'll tell Maester Ortengrin to do it. I should have made Maester Ortengrin it. That would have been crazy as shit. Can I trust him? I don't know. Where is he? I saw him through the wall. He must be over here. That is not... Maybe it is what it looked like. God damn it. Urgh, it's like Resident Evil and the camera changes. Okay. Maester Ortangren! Maester? Yes, Lord Ethan. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? What is your perspective? What is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the know. Citadel. The wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom us. Yes. Yeah. You can hardly put a price it on It is a sensible plan. Life. A sensible plan, Maester. It may come to that. I am glad to hear your mind is open. I am the openest of minds, Master Otagrin. Now, Otagrin, do I have to walk o Oh, no, man. My lord, I am you ready to name your sentinel. Yes. Yes, Maester. I'm ready. God, very man. well. I will convene the small council at once. We just look away during cutscenes like, oh, hey, look, Godzilla statue. Oh, hey, look, Sonic toy. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. You are both with Duncan, me. Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel. Oh, but I have made oh, my decision. Fuck. Royland's gonna kill Duncan. I fucked up. Oh, God. Duncan Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. Tuttle? This, this is... Shut nice. up! Lord Ethan has made his choice. Okay. I will not disappoint God. you, my lord. Now, sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsay Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here, with no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. We'll deal with him. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with a the sword. sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with Fuck. the lives of everyone within these Being world. Being a lord sucks. Ignore Sir Royland. You named me Sentinel. That is true. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. Enough! Would my father have stood for this kind of thing? Neither will I. Neither will I. <laughs> Sir Royland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene yeah, on our true. behalf. That might but be a we good must plan. have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. Stab a bitch. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power. What do you to help recommend, us. Mother? What do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. Hmm. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! We could give them some. Fuck! I hate decisions like this. <sighs> okay, so.
are. If I give them diplomacy. If we use diplomacy. Okay, hold on. I'm thinking. Hmm. Okay, if we fight, we probably die. Don't look at me like that, Ethan. Don't look at me like that, Tuckin. Puck Tucker. Don't look at me like. I don't know your names. Fuck you guys. Mom. Hi, Mom. Okay. We will bargain. We will fight. We will use diplomacy. Yeah, the real me in life would fight. Someone's gonna die though, and it might be my mama. I'm just a kid. I don't want to bargain. We have to bargain. I don't wanna. That's not. If this is real life, mm -mm, but we will bargain. Maester Ortengrin has swayed me. We will offer the Boltons a share of the ironwood, and we will promise our people to harvest it, thus securing their safety. As Sentinel and Castellan, I must warn against this. You may do this for some gain now, but in the end, it will starve this house. If we don't, there may be no house forester at all. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks God out. God damn you guys. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Yeah, just say yes, my lord, and walk away. Like the stupid little humans you are. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. We could offer him the ironwood in the courtyard. My lord, making this kind of offer outright may simply embolden Ramsay. There could be trouble, and all the house will be there to see it. Meet him in the hall. It will be more private, and he will not have an audience to play yeah, against okay. you. Lord Ethan? I will invite Ramsay into the Great Hall. I will meet him in the Great Hall. A wise move, Thank you. Lord. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? That's enough, Roiland. Lord Ethan has given his yes. command. How many years have I served Not enough. House? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. Forgive me, my lord, but you are not ready to be lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Not another mm -hmm. word. Your father would not approve, my lord. Oh, hell no. Off with that motherfucker's head. Because not today. No, 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 no. Apologies, my son. I had expected better of you. Well, him. you shouldn't have. But now that it is settled, God. we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall. And we will offer the Ironwood, providing a safe future for this house. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your sentiment Thank belongs. you. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. Let's prepare the hell out of this house. Let's do it. Let's do it to it. Man. There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely Thanks, on. Thanks, Mom. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back. He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will a to hunger. fight. A hunger okay. for it. Okay. He always protected you and your sister. Oh! But won't he be Lord if he returns? Yeah. Do you want him to take my place? Of course not. He has mm, no interest mom. in such things. Come on, Mom. And that's not what I want either. Asher is volatile, but that is his strength too. I want Asher to be Lord. He's Do you a remember badass. The Miller's boy. The picture. How he tormented you. I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's mm. teeth. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed Maybe to do. Maybe Asher does not mind. hesitate. <laughs> he acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities, but you do not have that anger inside you. I'm not like that, but I don't need to be, do nope. I? No, but you need someone. I want Asher. He's my bro. He's my bro ham skillet. I need him. I need him by my side. 
Go get Asher! Get him now, bring him back to me. I need my people. Let my people go. I'm trying to do what's oh, best for this family. come on, cutscene. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm yes. to Essos. I accept. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. That might be the death of you, Mom. But, A, hey, that's okay. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do mm -hmm. this. You made your own fate, Mom. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us. Dun, 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 dun. God damn. Cutscenes on cutscenes. Stacks on stacks on stacks of cutscenes. Alright, well, you know what? I'm gonna have to end it there because this video is going on way too long. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll pick it up at the next part, which will be following right here. Duh. Well, anyways, all right. Thank you, guys.